but this is not a character we saw from him in top bracket in the last one. So, the Wario was very successful for him. I mean, he can live, like, yeah, and, and let's make moves. He kept this hidden until pretty much just the top eight. Um, he ran through with almost all DK and Krom. Of course, two very strong characters in the game as well. But uh, yeah, it just seems like he's kind of coming to his own with this character. And I mean, he's he's running. Away. Yeah, so PS2 to neutral, like dealing with platforms and all that. And it's not moving like players are now taking advantage of that and players are now having to like learn the layout if they're they weren't used to it from other games such as like brawl or if they were playing this ever you know like beforehand it, it's the, it's a new layout yeah you actually could have made it happen in smash 4 if you do the three cpus in a singles match oh my god or one in a doubles match but of course that's a little cumbersome either way thanks Ooh. to hazards off we've got it and my man commander by the way he is sticking it to tweak he's been keeping up 81 percent not anything you can't come back from for sure yeah, like, right now with Inkling, the, the character that had the most hype probably going into tournament play is like, this character is going to be unstoppable. The results really only to a couple few, you know, competitors like Cosmos and, you know, other Inklings coming to mind right now, like Abadang was trying him out in Japan, but like, it seems like a character like easy to play, but not easy to master. For sure, there's a lot of deep set play and stuff with the splat bomb. And wow, okay, yo, Commander, you all of a sudden. Oh, this is not one-sided. This this is a fight. This is a fair match. And, you know, with Wario having to, like, dodge a lot of the stuff that Inkling's rolling out and vice versa, I mean, they're, they're keeping up with each other. Yeah, this guy's play is clean, and it's not like Tweak has a shortage of matchup experience. Of course, being housemates with Cosmos. Oh, yeah. It's a loft broken. Exactly. Very powerful training ground. And yo, he's keeping it going. Down throw, Nair, fair. I like that. Little three piece. Get the damage pretty close to even at this point. But Wario, no shortage of kill power. Yo, he the bike. the bike. So we saw our first parry in our block. And we're going to see if that's going to be maximized. He did get the roller. This is now a stock down. Is this? This is this is game one. Let's relax. So this is game one. However, like, this is something that was not expected. Definitely going in. Like, Commander showing great control of Inkling. Which, I mean, for potentially his first super major, like, this is impressive. This is the main stage. This is, like, the first S tier we've ever had for this game. And keep in mind, Tweak, for those who don't know, going into this tournament, the favorite to win, seeded number one. Seeded number one. And Commander, that means he's seeded last in this tournament if he's playing him. Well, I guess there's one buy, so he beat the guy seeded last to get here. Either way, an unseeded warrior on the way to taking a game off Tweak, but no, of course, so explosive, this guy. Once he gets his hands on you, he could... Tear a stock off in seconds. TSM Tweak, man, recently picked up. Yeah, really hearty congrats to Tweak, not only on that game one, but on that pickup from TSM. He does join Leffen for the Smash roster. He copied his haircut, too. Yeah, we got Anime Boys on deck. I actually like the, the new Tweak cut, by the way. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, part of TSM is the cleanness, not in play, but also in style. I mean, both players, I mean, they sport the looks, but... You know, going into the second game, I don't know, the Wario pick was pretty strong and the Inkling pick's gonna stay. Going right back into it, I mean, we do have a character change of the Inkling palette, going from yellow now to the green Inkling. We'll see how it goes on uh, Bro, Yoshi's Island Bro. Could be a stage-based thing, right? You want to have certain colors to make your paint more or less visible. Uh, I think it's hilarious when people get, like, coded. Like, <laughs> it's just funny. It, the game has such a nuanced, like, detail when it comes to design, and, like, it makes it so dynamic and expressive. But, yeah, I mean, both of them keeping keep pretty neck and neck, 42-59. Tweak is starting the up air strings into Nair. I mean, Walk is going to be that threat, which, you know, we're going to see if Commander is going to be dealing with that the whole set, or in just a few key moments he's able to, you know, win out. But, wow, Dash Attack takes that. Yeah, Tweak looks like he's finding his footing at this point. There's a lot of pressure on him as the number one seed and a freshly sponsored player coming into this event. So I can only assume that, you know, he just has to get his mindset right. Yeah, there's seeding curse and newly signed curse. Right, and blessing too, right? It kind of goes either way depending on the player. But Tweak, I don't think he's going to get scared by that. I think he's just happy to be, you know, picked up by such a prestigious orc. And now, now that he's rolling, man, you can see the strength of this player. Yeah, so we'll see if we're going to see you know, later, later during the event, if Tweak is going to opt to use Wolf, if Tweak is ever going to show us a cloud in top bracket. But I mean, Wario right now is just doing the trick. In the air, on the ground, this is a huge threat that Commander needs to give some sort of response for because this, this is tournament stock, actually. You can see the adjustment, the adaptation here from Tweak. 
just once he figured out kind of how Commander plays, it could be all over from that point. Oh, two up airs into a WAP, but yes, wow, that actually did it. Wow, that ended same as game one, and I think that...